In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria, draw 2D shapes and demonstrate an understanding of line symmetry and knowledge of the relative size of angles. You can locate the questions on the mathmath.com website under level 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Which of the above has an angle of 180 degrees? I'll start with a circle. You should remember that in a circle there are 360 degrees. So 180 is half of that. So half a circle. That's this angle here. So that is 180 degrees. Which one of the four options looks like that? That is D. So I'm going to take D. Shade two thirds of the circle so that there is at least one line of symmetry. Right, let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve slices. So two thirds of that will be twelve divided by three, which is four and then 4 times 2, which is 8. So we're looking at highlighting, or colouring in, 8 of these slices. Which ones will we colour in? Let's decide on the line of symmetry first. So it needs to have at least one line of symmetry. So if I just put the line of symmetry here, then I'm going to draw or highlight 4 of these slices on each side and they will be mirroring each other so if i highlight this for example and this then i'll do this and this the way i've done it is that it has more than one line of symmetry but that doesn't matter because the question is asking that it has at least one line of symmetry. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this shape. The most obvious one would be here and then we can have another one here but that's all, two of them. We're now moving to the calculator questions. Karen is a cake designer. She's designing different shaped cakes. AB and BC are two sides of a parallelogram. On the grid, complete the parallelogram. So a parallelogram has parallel sides, as the name suggests. So I'm going to draw the next side here. So it has one, two, three, four, four squares long. And then join the two together here, like so. So A, B, C, D. When you do this on paper, don't forget to use a ruler. Here is a regular pentagon. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this pentagon. So regular shapes, they have the same number of lines of symmetry as the number of sides. So a regular pentagon has five sides, so it has five lines of symmetry. A regular hexagon has six sides, so it has six lines of symmetry. So there is one, two, three, four, five. Here is a regular hexagon. What type of angle is angle X? Tick the correct answer. Angle X is an obtuse angle. Draw a hexagon. So when it says draw a hexagon, it's not saying draw a regular hexagon. 
regular hexagon has same length of sides and the same size of angles so hexagon has six sides so we've got one two three four five six this is a hexagon as long as it has six sides it's a hexagon Here is a shape. How many lines of symmetry does this shape have? So this is a star. We have a line of symmetry here. So that's one, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry all together. Which of these words describes angle C in the shape above? Tick the correct box below. So angle C, that is less than 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle. Just like we describe little kids as cute. So they're small, a small angle, less than 90 degrees. Obtuse looks like so. You can link it with a bees perhaps, so it's greater than 90 degrees. Right angle, reflex, so that's even greater than 180, but less than 360. And straight, like a straight line, half of a circle, like a semicircle. Child needs to mark out the center spot of the rectangular football pitch. She uses the line of symmetry and marks where they meet. Draw the lines of symmetry on the diagram below. So rectangle has two lines of symmetry and this is where they meet. Asha's instructions say when you leave the ferry port go east. Asha is cycling north how many degrees clockwise does she need to turn to cycle east? So we have north, south, west and east. So she's cycling north, so she's here, and she needs to turn to east. There is east, so that is 90 degrees. Joe has a loyalty card for the college cafe. When he has paid for nine hot drinks, he gets the tenth one free. Joe notices that the card is symmetrical. Draw all the lines of symmetry on the loyalty card. So that's four lines of symmetry. There are some hexagonal tables in student services for students to use. Draw a hexagon. Again, it's not saying draw a regular hexagon. So any shape with six sides will be just fine. Just make sure you use a ruler so you can draw straight lines. But as long as it has six sides, it's absolutely fine. They don't need to be of the same length. Simon waits to get on the plane. He watches another plane taking off. What type of angle does the plane take off at? Tick to show your answer. So again, this is less than 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle. Draw square with sides of two centimeters. So that would be one centimeter, and that's another one. It's 
two as well this side and you can just double check by using a ruler draw the lines of symmetry on this isosceles triangle so it could have just one line of symmetry it's an isosceles triangle which means that this side has the same length as this side and this angle has the same size as this angle. So this triangle has one line of symmetry. Draw the lines of symmetry on this equilateral triangle. Equilateral means that it has equal side lengths, so this is equal to this and to this, and the angles have equal sizes. So they are equal as well. So this type of triangle has one, two, three lines of symmetry. Circle the letter of the shape with exactly two lines of symmetry. A, which is a square, it has four lines of symmetry. B seems to be an equilateral triangle, which would have three lines of symmetry. If it was an isosceles triangle, it would have only one line of symmetry. And if it was scalene, it would have no line of symmetry. So B isn't an option either. C is a rhombus, and it has one, two lines of symmetry. So I'm going to circle C. D has more than two lines of symmetry. as you can see. So only C should be circled. List these types of angle in order with the smallest first. So again, a reflex angle looks like so. So it's greater than 180 degrees. Obtuse is greater than 90 but less than 180. Acute that is less than 90. Right angle looks like this. So the smallest would be acute. Then right angle. Then obtuse. And reflex. Here is a regular hexagon. How many lines of symmetry does the hexagon have? Circle your answer. Again, we said earlier that because this is a regular hexagon, the number of lines of symmetry will be equal to the number of sides. So a hexagon has six sides, so it has six lines of symmetry. And if you've forgotten that, you can always draw the lines of symmetry to help you. So that is six of them. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this shape. That would be one. That's another one. Another one here. And then a fourth one as well. And that's the end of the questions.